Hi friends. It is I, your art teacher, Miss Claire. It is nice to see you again. Today, we are going to be making something I'm gonna call a shape story. Now, there's two parts to that, shapes and a story. Now, shapes we typically think of as a circle or a square, but there's all sorts of shapes in the world. We might say, oh, can you hand me my favorite toy? It is shaped like a circle. It's shaped like a ball. So we might say something like that to think of the shape around it, the size. Maybe the size helps us describe it. A uh, story means it is something that has, I don't know, characters, a place. A story tells us a lot. It's not usually just one thing. You know, Daisy, my dog that you can kind of see over here, she's not a story. But if I said, Daisy is riding in the back seat of my car and we're on the way to go to an adventure. That's a story about Daisy. So Daisy might be the character in our story. So we are using shapes to tell a story in a picture. So we're going to be doing a drawing activity today. That means that the materials will need something to draw on. I have white paper. You can use whatever color paper you want. I'm going to leave this up to you because I know that we all have different, different things in our homes. So whatever color paper you have works just fine. Now, I'm also going to be using some sort of device some sort of device, some sort of material that can make marks. So drawing materials, maybe you have markers or crayons or pencils or pens or anything that can make marks, something that we will draw with. I'm gonna be using markers, but I also have some color pens I might use. And remember, if you maybe think, I don't have enough markers, maybe you could find something like a highlighter, something else to make colors, but use your creative mind. Let's say you don't have a red marker Maybe you have a red pen laying around your house and you can use that. So think creatively about what you have if you're thinking maybe you can't find what you're looking for. All right, so that's what we're gonna draw with. Now, the shape part of our story is we are going to be using objects from around our home to turn into something else. So I've chosen a few objects that I think have neat shapes because what we're gonna do is we are going to trace them. Now, these are the objects that I have. And when I say trace them, have you ever traced your hand and made it into something like a bird? Actually, I think some of us have done an activity with me where we made it into a, um, a dove, maybe. So I've chosen some objects that I think have pretty cool shapes to trace. So I have a sponge, and this is a clean sponge. I haven't used it yet, but I think it's such a cool wavy shape. I thought this would make a good shape to trace. Now when we're tracing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it on our paper Take a marker or a crayon and just go around the outside carefully to make the shape. So I like this shape. I thought this was kind of neat. Now I have lots of cool rocks at my house and they have funny shapes. I mean, this has so many shapes to trace. I thought it might be fun to include. Uh, I also have a little triangle piece of fake pizza. I bet you have some fake food at home and it's probably got some pretty cool shapes. And then I also had this bowl which I like that it had wavy edges. I thought that might make a neat shape. So when you're looking for shapes or, or objects that you're gonna trace, think about what they look like because if the body looks a certain way but we can't trace it, it's just gonna be the edge. We're not gonna get it. So you could also have simpler shapes. Maybe you wanna trace the outline of a pair of scissors. That might be kinda neat if you need them for that. You maybe are using simple shapes like circles. Maybe you're gonna make a circle and a circle. Whatever you feel is exciting to you. Think about the shapes around your house and things that you might be able to find. Now we don't wanna get things that are breakable. We don't wanna get hurt and we don't wanna hurt anything else. So make sure that what you're choosing to trace is an okay thing for you to be using for that. Now, we're gonna start our story anywhere we want. Maybe I'm looking at my shapes. So here are my shapes that I've been inspired to get in front of me. And I'm thinking that I like this sponge because it's sort of like a pathway. So I'm gonna start there. That's where my story is gonna start. Now, your story could start anywhere. Maybe you wanna have a pathway in yours as well and you have something similar. That's okay too. Anything that you are feeling inspired by in your shapes can be your story. So to trace it, I am going to put this down on the paper. Now I'm gonna take something I'm gonna take a purple pen, and with one hand, I am gonna hold my object, and with my other hand, I'm gonna trace around the edge. 
Now I want to be careful not to draw on the object because I still want to use these for other things. This is my sponge. I'll do my dishes with it. So I want to be careful not to get marker on it. So that means on the paper. Now I'm going to be kind of careful. You can see I'm going to go all the way around and you don't have to go fast. Sometimes it's better to go a little bit slowly and to be really careful to make sure we're doing a really good job. Okay, almost done. That's a pretty cool shape. Now, maybe I also think this looks like a flag. That could be a cool flag too. Flag waving in the wind. I'm gonna start with a, with a pathway. So I'm gonna use this and make a sidewalk. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna make another sidewalk tile out of this cool wavy shape of a sponge. I'm so curious to see what shapes you find in your home. Now I've got two sidewalk tiles. I'm going to do another one. I wonder if your story is going to be a fairy tale or maybe your story is going to be about animals. Maybe it's a mystery of some kind. I'm very curious to see what you choose to do. So I've got my traced shapes for my sidewalks. This will actually be how my picture looks. And I can color in the shapes too. I want to trace them for the general shape, but I can color them. So I like this pizza and it sort of almost looks like a cool bush to me. So I think I'm going to put a little bush next to my sidewalk. Um, and I'm going to trace it with this green marker. I bet that if you have some toys laying around your house, I bet you can find some pretty cool shapes in there. All right, now I have my green triangle bush. And like I said, I'm gonna to add to it. So I'm gonna make some squiggly bushy shapes inside. Cause I always think bushes are kind of squiggly and that's what they make me think of. So I'm gonna to try to add some squiggles. I think I'm also gonna add another color. I'm gonna use my highlighter cause I like this bright yellow for my squiggly two-tone bush. All right, so now I have a sidewalk and a bush. All right, so in my story, who is walking on the sidewalk? That's a good thing to start with. Now, I really wanted to get this wavy bowl in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is use it as the sun in the corner. So maybe my rock is gonna be my character. And before I do that, I'm gonna trace just the edge of this on the corner of my paper. I'm gonna put it over the bush. Now this is a breakable thing. So I wanna be really careful with it when I'm using it. If you wanna use something from your home that is breakable, you might ask someone in your family or an adult to help you. Because we want to make art and we want to have fun, but we don't want to get hurt. We don't want to break anything. All right, I've made a little wavy sun. See that? And I'm maybe just going to color that in. I, what's really neat about when we work together online is that we all make such different projects because we all have different materials. We all have different colors of things. I think that's a really cool thing that we're, gonna, that we're doing at this moment. There is my sun. Okay, now I need a story character. So it's a sunny day. We've got a sidewalk. We have a little bush here. Now I need a character. Who is in my story? I think it's gonna be the shape of this rock. And I might call my character Rocky. I mean, Rocky's a pretty cool name anyway. And I might describe the shape that Rocky is. So shapes like this can be a little hard to trace because look at all these different sides. I wanna be making sure that I am keeping it flat and not all sides will be flat. So I'm gonna do the best that I can. I know that's what we're all doing. We're here to have fun and make art and do the best that we can. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that a lot of art is just learning something new and figuring out cool new ideas. So if it doesn't quite turn out like you wanted, that's okay because you tried something new and maybe it turns into something else and you get a surprise. All right, I'm gonna trace this. Rock. My friend Rocky. I like the shape of Rocky. Oops, I missed a little bit. Put it back. Try to get a little bit in there. 
Okay. And here's my character, Rocky. Now, Rocky's just an outline, so I'm going to try to figure out what Rocky looks like. I think that Rocky has red hair. Maybe Rocky has like almost like an Elvis hairstyle. <laughs> Figuring this out as I go. That's okay. Now, I think that Rocky is wearing sunglasses. It's sunny outside, right? So I'm going to add sunglasses to my story character, Rocky. I like how Rocky is turning out. Now, usually in a story, we have something that's happening. So we need a couple of different things for a story. We need a character. I've got my friend Rocky. I wonder who your character is. We need a place. I have a sidewalk and a bush and a sun. So it's a sunny day outside. That's my place. But what is Rocky doing? The third thing I need for my story is what Rocky is doing. What am I telling in my story? Rocky is going to get some ice cream. And I'm going to tell this by, well, a couple of ways. I actually think that Rocky has just gotten ice cream and then he's walking home. So he's got an ice cream cone in his hand. So my story is that Rocky went to get some ice cream. All right. I'm going to draw an ice cream cone. What is better than ice cream on a sunny day, being outside and eating ice cream? I'm going to make my ice cream this pretty purple color. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that Rocky looks like he's smiling because there is no frowning when you have an ice cream cone in your hand. Okay. So here's my story. Rocky wants to get ice cream on a sunny day. Now, I still have tons of space left over, even though I already traced my shapes to make a story. So now, I can take some time and fill them in. Like, I wonder what's behind us. Is there anything else on the sidewalk? Is there grass? I think I might add some flowers, because how could a sunny day get better flowers? Maybe Rocky has a friend. Maybe Rocky is walking his dog, too. So think about what the shapes are telling you. What are they making you think of? Are they telling you a story about an animal or a person? I wonder what season it is in your picture, in your story. Is it winter time? Is it summertime? Is it fall? And remember, when we're telling a story, some things should be happening. And it can be really simple. Like in my story, Rocky went to get some ice cream. It's a simple story, but I think it's a pretty good one. Got some flowers here. So I want you to think about all of the different elements of your story. And I wonder what cool shapes you could find around your home. I bet there are so many cool shapes. I mean, I found my sponge I clean my dishes with and it made this sidewalk, which I think is pretty cool. So I hope that you have had a really wonderful time making art with me today. I miss all of you and I can't wait for us to be in the same place again. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and that you are having a nice time seeing your teachers and your classmates. I know it's a little bit different right now, but later on we'll all be together again. So thank you for making art with me today and I will see you next time.